today I want to um, talk to you about some things I've been thinking about, some things that we're going to be doing, and one thing that we're not going to be doing. Um, first of all, I'll tell you what we're not going to be doing. I had mentioned in my last video that we were thinking about, you know, we did the shelf timber, which was fun, and um, now Jordan Page is doing the Stocktober. Um, we're not going to be doing that. One reason why is because they've cut my husband's hours, and um, so since they've cut his hours, we're not going to have as much money coming in. We won't have any problems as far as we can see with our bills and groceries and things like that, but extras won't be happening right now. <laughs> so anyway, so that's not going to be happening. I'm not going to do Stocktober, um, which would be really fun to do, but... Yeah, I don't want to put us in a bind or anything like that. And I want to still be able to do what need, what's needed. So we won't be doing that. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is my channel name. I'm thinking about changing it to Mama Cat's Home. The reason why is, yes, we are a homestead. But actually, if you look up the um, meaning in a dictionary most places are homesteads whether you have animals gardens farms whatever but I'm not going to get into that because I don't debate that because the dictionary says what it is and I believe what I believe and people are going to believe what they believe and I love everybody anyway <laughs> so I won't argue about it but it's not because we're not a homestead but it's because I don't want to limit my channel to only homestead things and everybody who watches my channel knows that I do like hauls and stuff like that and I don't see many homestead channels really doing hauls. And I also have done some different other like crafty videos. I don't see that happening a lot. Yeah, homestead channels have gardening, animals, cooking, stuff like that. I'm all good with that stuff. But I want to do more than just that. If I decide that I want to do um, a plan with me video, I want to feel like I am free to do that. And as long as I'm under a homestead title... I kind of don't feel like I'm free to do that as much. But I know I can do whatever I want on my channel. I just want to, I don't know. I just want to change my name, I think, to Mama Cat's Homestead. Or Mama Cat's Home instead of Mama Cat's Homestead. Plus, it's shorter and easier. So, you guys let me know what you think. Should I change it? Should I leave it like it is? Let me know. Okay. Um, another thing I'm going to talk to you about is a dirty little secret that I have. And I will insert a picture right here of what that dirty little secret is. Do you see why I call it a dirty little secret? That room, since we have moved here a little over five years ago, has been... Something that has irritated me to no end. <laughs> because we have cleaned it out. We have straightened it up. But it's never stayed that way. And one reason was we were homeschooling and we needed the books and we needed the things like that. But now we're not homeschooling because my daughter's done. So I can get rid of that. So that is a huge amount of things that can go. But we also have other things in there that really need to be in that room but they need to be more organized and some things that are in that room that really just don't need to be in the house they would be fine if they were in our storage shed because they're things that you would use for outside projects and such as that and our storage shed is is okay um it it has gotten a little messy and maybe i'll do the same thing with the storage shed next but right now what I'm going to do, or what we're going to do, is, um, you know, I've been doing the Fly Lady system, which is really working out really well. I've actually purged, in fact, today, um, we purged, like, four, almost four garbage bags, like the big 30-gallon garbage bags, full of clothes. And most of them were mine. And I still have lots of clothes. I don't know how in the world that I end up with so many clothes, which I know that people give me clothes sometimes, and um, 
so I'll, you know, or I'll get them on clearance or, or something. I, I don't know. But either way, we've purged a lot of clothes. We took time today to do that. Um, I know that wasn't part of the Fly Lady system, but we just wanted to do it. So me and my husband did it. And it feels a lot better now that they are done. So uh, we want to get this room straightened out and usable because right now it's not usable. We want it to be like um, a guest bedroom slash craft room so I can do my sewing and things like that because as of now if I want to sew I have to bring my sewing machine into the dining room and then the dining room gets you know out of sorts because there's cloth and there's a sewing machine and whenever we want to eat because we eat at the table every single day we have to move all of those things so it's just more of a headache to sew so I haven't even been sewing like I would like to. And so, yeah, we're going to get that room straightened out. We've given ourselves two months to do this. Um, oh, and I don't know if I told you this, but either way, I'm going to tell you now. The, the, um, what I got this from is Fly Lady Cat. She did a live stream um, this past week on her channel. She does live streams every day. She does awesome videos every day telling you what you're supposed to be doing on any certain day with the Fly Lady system. It's a huge encouragement. It's a huge help. I will link her video in the iCard and in the description. If it'll let me do it in the iCard, I'll see. Maybe I can. But anyway, Fly Lady Cat is awesome, and she is encouraging me to get my house in order, and so I'm going to be doing this project. And what this is is... Instead of doing my zone like I would normally do, I'm replacing that room with the zone. In other words, that room is my zone and for the next two months. Now, if I get it done before two months, then great. I'll go back to my zones. If I don't, then um, I'll have to ask her about that. <laughs> but I have given myself two months. Myself two months. I'm supposed to, and I haven't done it yet. And, um... She's going to know I haven't done it yet. I have to sit down with my husband, and we're going to plan it. The um, reason why I haven't done that is because he's been super busy and stuff with other stuff, so we haven't been able to sit down together. But tonight, we're going to be able to sit down together, make a plan, and then we can, because um, she wants me to make a plan. She wants everyone to make a plan. Just treat it like a job, I guess you could say. Like, you know, give yourself a deadline. But anyway, make a plan and get to it, you know. So we're going to be starting that this week instead of our zones. We're still going to be, I'm still doing my morning and evening routines the same way, but that's going to be my zone from now on for a little while. Um, and then I don't, uh, I'm going to do a video on this. I'm either going to do snapshots or pictures, whatever you want to call it. Or I may do video, or I may do a combination of both, and I will have a video at the end to show you guys the progress. I may not be talking at all in the video. I don't know. It may just be music. I'm not going to try to make it a super long video, but I want you to guys, you guys to see um, what I, you know, maybe it'll help encourage someone else to clean out their junkie room. But yeah, uh, so... Those are the things. I'm not doing Stocktober, even though it will be fun. <laughs> um, thinking about changing my name of my channel. And I'm doing a Fly Lady project. <laughs> so that's what's going on right now. Also, I would like to know if there are any videos on, like, cooking videos. I know everybody seems to like my cooking videos. If there are any recipes that I have not done that you might want to see. Because we try new things all the time. Or it may be something we already eat. Um, so yeah, I'll, I want, you know, I want your suggestions on that. I've got more videos. I mean, I've got more recipes I can do on my own. But, you know, if I can do something you guys want me to do, that would be great too. Okay, the garden. I'm going to talk about that. Because I have not talked about that in a long time. The garden is done. It's just, I mean, there's a little bit... Okra is still producing a little bit. Peppers are producing a little bit, but it's not anything to see. Um, and I should have actually told you guys this a while back, but it's just not really a lot going on. And we're not really going to do a um, fall, winter garden. I don't, well, we may decide to do something 
but I don't, we're not really gonna do anything with that right now. Give our soil a break, let it rest. Um, and the animals, I know I have talked about my bunnies. I do believe I have in my videos recently, but I have not shown you guys, so I'm gonna try to get you guys a video of that, of the bunnies, and update on the chickens and quail. And you guys remember Deborah and Susie. The hens that turned out to be roosters. I think we have more. <laughs> I think some of our silky chicks turned out to be roosters. Even though they were supposed to be hens. So. Um. We have six of them. And we think three may be roosters. We can't keep all of them. But we can keep. I found out that we can keep one of the roosters, which you wouldn't want to keep three roosters with only three hens anyway. So, um, yeah, that's something else we're going to have to figure out. They're just getting old enough that you can really tell a difference. They've actually, you know, they had the poofy hair, or well, actually it's feathers, but the poofy white all over their heads. Some of them have actually lost that and it's coming back. It looks really weird at first and I was getting a little worried, but they, it's just normal. Um, I've never had that kind of chicken before, so, but they're awesome, they're cute, and one of them likes to sit on my shoulder, and I really hope that, um, that's a hen, <laughs> because we can't keep all of them if three of them are roosters. We'll have to get rid of two at least, but because they are quiet birds, we could keep one rooster. Um, the quail, we've had a few problems with them. We've had some that were really mean and attacked others. So we've had to separate and move around and stuff like that. But otherwise, they're great. The ones that did get, you know, their feathers pulled and all that stuff, they're getting better. One of them had gotten hurt really bad. But um, he's all better now. I was really scared. I cried because I thought he was going to die, but he didn't. He's all better now. He's completely well. But, um... So, yeah, I'm going to try to get you guys a video out of the animals sometime this week. And I think that's all that I had to talk about. If there's anything you would like to see on my channel that, you know, something I have similar to what I've done before, let me know. And I know I didn't have many haul videos recently. And I know it seems like my haul videos get pretty good views. But... September, I didn't do a lot of shopping because we were doing shelf timber and I was using pantry stuff. So we didn't do a lot of shopping, so there wasn't any hauls. And this month, there won't be a lot of hauls because I'm not doing a lot of shopping still because of um, my husband having short hours for the rest of the year. So yeah, that stuff's going to be happening. <laughs> but we've got plenty of groceries and we've got plenty of stuff around the house and all the things we need and we will be able to buy groceries i'm just not going to be like normally whenever i do a haul is whenever i have bought a lot of things that is kind of stocking up you know but all those times i've stocked up before have helped for now <laughs> so yeah um i'm just rambling now so i'm gonna go I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of my channel. And remember, if you um, haven't subscribed and you really want to watch a crazy woman, then hit the subscribe button. <laughs> and if you'd like to share this video, please feel free to do it. Leave me some comments of things that, you know, I've talked about. Let me know what your thoughts are. And um, I don't know if I ask you to like it, but yeah, like it if you'd like to. <laughs> So, uh, that's all for today. And again, thank you for watching. And remember, don't take anyone nickels and be sweet.